The tool changer is something that gets added on to the side and that is capable of holding up to 400 tools. Yes, 400 tools. So me and Gio are here at A&B and we're stood in front of the Grupo Parpa stand and I'm going to quiz Gio on this huge speed liner machine. So Gio, first, what is the working envelope of this machine because it looks massive? Well Tom, it is an absolutely massive machine, it makes me look even smaller than I actually am. This envelope is 6 metres by 3.2 and 1.4 metres in the Z. It's a bridge construction machine with a, a fifth axis simultaneous head and it's got a volumetric accuracy within that envelope of 40 microns wherever the part is positioned. So I'm not really sure there's going to be any parts you can't actually do on this machine with the size of it? Not really, no. So. What controls have you got for actually programming such a huge machine? So you've got hide and iron control, but you've also got options to use Siemens control. It's a very flexible and modular setup, so they work very closely with their clients to give them the very best solutions. This particular model also comes in different sizes too. So what are some of the different spindle sizes you can get on this machine? It's actually got on this particular head here, HSK 63 um, tooling, um, but it can go up to HSK 100. It's perfect for aluminium, but it's capable of cutting any machine, uh, any material, sorry. The tool changer is something that gets added on to the side, and that is capable of holding up to 400 tools. Yes, 400 tools. I'm not really sure you'd need any more, but... 400 is quite a, a nice amount of tools to have. I don't think many shops would actually have 400 tools to <laughs> fill it. So it's such a great machine and you can see behind us, you can see the five axis head moving. So what are some of the benefits to having the five axis head? Well, you imagine, Tom, having a, a part, such a large part weighing so much, moving around. You know, you want the part to be static and the, part, and the fifth axis head to be moving around that part and to have that full accessibility around the part, even to the, the extent of getting under edge machining done. This is a, a head that not only can give you great metal removal rates, but also superior surface finishes, accuracy and precision. Now, the guys have actually gone for a smaller spindle and there is a reason for that. So Gio, why has it got a smaller spindle than what you'd expect on this particular model yeah. um, it's some what well, one of the reasons is is so that they can get closer to the part so they can use stubbier tools which ultimately will give you better uh, rigidity um, also one point to mention is you can see the metrology um, on this machine, the Drone X, which is patented by Grupo Parpas. Now, what that does, it calibrates the machine tool. Why would you do that? Well, you can imagine the expensive components that they'd be loading to that machine tool, um, and it would obviously eliminate any potential for scrapping that component and, 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 and of such an expense. And talking about the expense of how much the parts would be on this machine, this machine also has something else that helps with the thermo. So can you talk us through that? Well, in any factory, there's always um, fluctuations in heat, you know, whether it's the summertime, the winter time, um, and this machine is cooled um, to stay between 18 and 30 degrees at any time. It's got like an air conditioning system within the machine to keep everything cooled, which is absolutely so important to achieve the accuracies and precision that you need when making parts on such a machine tool. Just as a final point, Joe, I'm going to let you close this because is this machine available in the UK? It's available from Leader CNC Technologies. This is only one model um, that is available from Groupers Parpas. They're very specific machines to specific applications and they've got uh, numerous models available for different applications. And I would strongly recommend that you check them out and find out more if you've not heard of them before.